Hi guys, welcome to JSTV. I'm here in Bournemouth today, the game between Bournemouth and Newcastle at the Vitali Stadium, kick off at 5.30. And I'm inside the East Conservative Club, which is just outside the stadium. And I got invited to come in by some Bournemouth fans as well, which I'm gonna see in a bit. And if you like the video, like what you watch, make sure you like and subscribe. And also, Super Chats are open and also, become a member 99p so this is a tricky little game today for our guys today with half the team out and we've still got quality players in the side i mean we've got players like anthony gordon we've got um joao lascelles um shah as well they're both going to be playing today live momentum that's coming today he's got to start uh, so i'll put chippy a left back and hopefully in the midfield joe willett gets a start with sean on staff Joel Linton as well. So at the end of the day, I get a lot of people saying, should Miley start? Um, yes or no. I'd rather have Lewis Hall in to be fair. But in the meantime, whoever Eddie picks, it's gonna be um and it is gonna be a patched up team, but we still got quality in that team. I fully expect us to beat Bournemouth. This is a game we have got to win because Bournemouth are really, really struggling at the moment as well. And they lost a Six, five out of the last six games. That ain't good enough for Ariola. And I just hope that um, we go there and put a performance. We get a first goal, an early goal, then I honestly think we'll win this game by twos and threes and fours. Our away record is pretty good, but we've got to get points as well. And hopefully, we'll be on it as well. You need to get three points today. It's very important going to the national break. We do that, then we could be back in the top four, top five race again. If we lose this game, it's not going to look good. But we should see what happens today at the Vitality. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe. And as you can see in the background as well, I've got Bournemouth fans behind us as well. And there's Craig behind us. You too, I see how you doing. How you doing? Yeah. <laughs> There you go, there you go, Make great sure guy. you like, subscribe and everything else to John. <laughs> you said it. There you go, you just said it. I can't say any more than that. Until then guys. Hi guys, I'm in a different hotel and I'm not gonna mention the name it is or I'd get wrong for it. And I'm waiting for the Newcastle players to come down from the top of the balcony to come down there and sign some autographs. I should do the content as well. And if you like the video, like what you watch, make sure you like and subscribe. I met a couple of people as well and they are so cool, absolutely fantastic. And you know what? I mean, it's nice to get autographs with people as well because obviously they made you as well. And you know what? They want to meet their heroes here. But they're cold people, nice people, like I said. It's not too bad down Bournemouth today. It's really, really pleasant down here today. I thought it was going to be freezing cold, but it's not. But seeing that, it is what it is. I mean, there's a long way to go for the 5 30 kickoff. And do you know what? It's absolutely brilliant. The kids are great, the couples are nice, and I believe the players are on the way down. And I should catch a hold of them. Just like that with you. Um. It's Joe Willock chatting to so I'm looking bubbly as ever and I'll be guessing him this. Boom, as you see there, all the players come and do and looking confident as ever, they look relaxing look. Create. And let's all win the game today. As you can see, Eddie's just walked past Lewis Miley and you've got Jason Jamal the Cells. Sean Longstaff's walking past us as well. They look so relaxed, guys. Big draw. Say hi to us. And that is the team, Newcastle team, just walking out of the hotel. Yeah, you 
do as you see there all the players come and do and looking confident the server they look relaxing look great and let's all win the game today as you can see Eddie's just walked past Lewis Miley and you've got Jason Jamal the cells Sean Longstaff's walking past us as well they look so relaxed guys There's a few Bournemouth fans in here, just socialised with other people. Great bunch of guys and um, they love the football down here. And you know what? They feel comfortable in the game. Hi, Jess TV. I've got Craig from the TV from UTICAD podcast. And um, Craig, um, listen, uh, what are we going to get today, mate? And are you looking forward to it? I certainly am, mate. I certainly am. And great to finally meet you as well. Honestly, it's been a long time coming, um, but yeah, to kind of nervous. Um, to be honest, this is Eddie's second homecoming, um, effectively, oh, here. and <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, hopefully, you know, fingers crossed, he'll take his foot off the gas a little bit. You know, of course, there's been European games as well. He's got a lot of injuries. The question really has to be is how is Iriola going to set our side up? So are we going to go with that team? Are we going to go, you know, pass, 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 high intensity from the front? Because that, as we've already discussed, will leave us susceptible in the back. And that's what I'm really worried about. I'm hoping Iriola has done his research anyhow. Anyhow, of course, previously done his research on Iriola so you know I'm, fingers crossed you know it's going to be a game where we can actually do something you know play with a little bit of a different style but that different style gets that result um, but to be honest mate you're a fantastic team you know like we've always said and you know we've spoken so many times throughout the years Joe Linton what Eddie Howell did with Joe Linton took him for a player who wasn't performing all the way up. I said the, to Harry Redman that Newcastle finished third. You know, he finished fourth, which was pretty close. Um, he said that was Raven Bonkers, to be fair. You know, a lot of Newcastle fans probably would have thought that at the time as well. Um, what he's brought you on is a fantastic journey. So I hope that journey continues. Just not today, John. Just not today, mate. Oh, well, yeah, really stuff. Give us a scoreline, please, Give us a scoreline. Do you know what? Am I going to bet against my own team? To be honest, head says a 2-1 defeat. You know, that is honestly what I think it will be. Um, heart, a 2-1 win. You know, I, I hope that Iriola gets it right, but... I do have my doubts, I do have my doubts, John. Great, thanks so much for the comments. No, thank, thank you so you. much. It's great, a pleasure to actually meet you finally. And honestly, subscribe to this man. He's an absolute legend. And no, thank you so much. You're welcome, my guy. Thanks so much. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. All the very best, John. You too, thank you. Cheers, mate. There goes, John. Just behind the queue now, and I'm going to give you back search as well. And um, there's a massive queue as well, man. So, and um, it's just procedure, people, and nothing to worry about. Yeah,
got a call out of it, but no one is going to top call it. nil-nil um, at a minute. It's enough to report that the lead end of the day, but um, no clear-cut chances the last 10 minutes or so, but um, they need a goal, they need a quickly, and once we get a goal in, we'll be fine, but listen, it's enough to report that really, but no clear-cut chances.
They had the better chances. Nick Brooks with the start of the short in a minute. And he made three or four cracking saves. And Newcastle had opportunities as well. But um, Neto made a push it over. I think I'm fighting for Alonso. Could be wrong. But at the end of the day, they didn't create a lot. But Bournemouth do break with speed. And like I said, it could have been three or four up. And we've been at poor. Other than that, a biggie and Miller went off injured on K Mac Ritchie. But at this moment in time, it's nil-nil, but we have got to find a way of bringing this poor man's defence down. We really have to a bit more because at the end of the day, we're not creating a lot and we're not taking a chance a lot. But we'll see what happens. See what happens, people. Nil-nil. Bournemouth, but again, Nick put me in a cracking save, again, but we just have not got Gordon at all, one opportunity, a shot straight out of the keep out from Gordon, but other than that, as good as we've got, and, you know, we've got about 18 minutes to go plus stoppage, and 
it doesn't look great done at this moment in time. Oh, 2-0. 2-0, game set match. Unless we can get these two goals back, I feel strong. And we are shot in the neat life, seriously. Just end the stream, just end the vlog. That's all I'm seeing. And the ball's held up in the box, turn around, and it was blocked, kind of done, deflected right from the corner. We are disarray at the minute, at the back, and all because of a poor bar in the middle of the park, can't be doing that. man Yeah, it's more, Captain! Yeah, it's more! 